How's it going everyone? Sinister of the Gamer section bringing you another review. And today's game is Forza Horizon 5. This game is available on the Xbox One, the Series S and X, and the PC. With that being said, let us begin. The Horizon series takes place in different parts of the world. And this time the setting is takes place in Mexico. And you drive different vehicles in different areas of the country, like deserts, mountains, towns, and more. Horizon 5 really shines in the presentation department with its open cinematics showcasing this game in its glory. Like the previous games, you have the usual HUDs, like for example your speed monitor with the needle going up and down, showing how fast you're going or how slow you're going in, in and out of turns. And the audio is also amazing on here. Hearing like the slow guitars, you know, have that mellow effect, you know, it's like as you're cruising the countryside. Or you can hear the party music as you get near the festival, you know, where there's more upbeat tempo. Playground Games really hit it out of the park with this entry. The visuals are breathtaking in either quality mode or performance mode. Can't go wrong with either one, the choice is up to you, whatever your preferences are. For quality mode, you get high resolution 4K30 on the highest systems like the Series S and X and PC for example along with Adobe Vision for clarity. Performance mode is for those who want fast, silky smooth 4K60 and for a racing game like this I highly recommend it the most. Since the Horizon series is open world, weather plays a factor in this. For example, dust storms you see how it affects your driving performance as you race. Once again, Playground Games has nailed this. This is where the fun really begins as you start racing or driving around the countryside taking in the scenery. Like the previous games, you have a variety of different races like road race, dirt race, and many more with its own rules and challenges. You can create your own events and objectives and share them with others. When in and out of races, you have a reward meter at the top which fills up as you do certain tricks like drifting to build it up, but however, you can lose that momentum when you hit cars or other road hazards. Other variety is scattered throughout the landscape like reward signs that are displayed everywhere. Some are difficult to get, others are not. The races themselves can be done either in solo where you drive against driver tars like from, from your friends left or in co-op mode where you can team up with others in team theme events. And as you say as you win your races like finishing the top 3 you get a reward either you get more points or CR which is basically money to, unlock, to buy more cars or you can buy more homes and other things with your money. However, you can also win other cars, you know, as events, like depends how the prize is. Busy, it's like a slot machine. Easy, it keeps going and it's, it stops whatever you get, uh, things like that. So, overall, Horizon 5 is a steps above Horizon 4. I give Forza Horizon 5 a 5 out of 5. For the latest news and review, be sure to follow us at the Gamer section.